hello friends how are you all doing today i share how to make this gorgeous bitter leaf soup this soup was so so delicious if this is one video you want to watch please stay tuned and let me walk you through please don't forget to hit that subscription button for me and turn on your bell notification let's get started friends these are the ingredients i'll be using to make this bitter leaf soup i'm going to leave the list of the ingredients in the description box of this video this beef tribe is very clean i soaked it in hot water for about 15 minutes and i added salt and i washed it very well you know it's part of the intestine for cow to it i'll add my stock fish i'll add some onions i'll add some scald bonnet pepper some salt seasoning cube when making your soup you have to be very intentional about getting a very good stock you have to season the meat very well that way you are creating a very good base for your soup when your stock is not good enough your soup is not going to taste good and your soup is not going to be gorgeous like this my bitter leaf soup trust me so i'll cover my pot and allow it to cook until tender this is very tender i can feel it and i know it's completely tender so to this i'm going to add my turkey this turkey is smoked turkey you want to try this recipe you will love love this bitter leaf soup recipe so i'm using this turkey to make this bitter leaf soup just feel free to steal this my recipe i tell you you will love it i'll add the remaining onions i like to get my stock very good that is a very good foundation for your food so i'll add some water to this this turkey, I don't really need to cook it very well. Like I told you, it's smoked turkey. So I'm going to give it a very good mix and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes is just okay. So at this point, I'm going to add my palm oil. And I have my shrimps here. You just want to make this my bitter leaf soup, I tell you. Over there, you can see I'm still cooking my yam. I'm going to blend this yam using my food processor. It's going to come out very smooth. This yam is serving as a thickener for this soup. So I'll allow this to do its thing for about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. This bitter leaf soup is not cooked yet, but see how good it's looking. Please just make this recipe. You will come back to thank me later. This is my kukuya. You can see I blended it with my food processor. I'm adding it to this at this point. You can use oatmeal to serve as your thickener. You can use achi. But for this bitter leaf soup, I've just decided to use kukuya. Make sure you don't add too much kukuya because it's going to thicken the more when the soup is cold. This is my oguri ibo also known as locust beans this is what gives this bitter leaf soup that local aroma that you like in bitter leaf soup trust me <laughs> i'm going to add more seasoning to this bitter leaf soup so it i will add my bitter leaf i'm not going to add my bitter leaf at once if i add the bitter leaf i'll give it a stir to see if I need to add more or not. Yeah, I don't like to just dump the bitter leaf into my soup because I usually don't like the bitter leaf to overshadow the soup. Okay, I'm gonna add some more. Thank you so very much for staying till this time. I know this bitter leaf soup is one soup you wanna make. Please, when you make this bitter leaf soup, hit me up in the comment section. As usual, I'll be very happy to read from you. To it, I'm going to add my crayfish.
if you make this kind of bitter leaf soup for your in-laws, trust me, you become their best friend. Trust me. I'll cover this bitter leaf soup to do its thing for about seven minutes. So I'm just gonna add this catfish. I just got it out from my oven. It's very fresh, just from the oven. <laughs> I tell you, this is soup is one soup you want to recreate. I just added this catfish now because it's well cooked. If I put it earlier before now, it's going to scatter in this soup and I don't want that. I tell you, this soup looks good. Can you see friends? This food looks really, really good and so, so rich. At this point, I'm just going to turn off the light. The catfish I added now, the residual heat will make it to come to what I really want because I don't want it to be too soft or to pieces or to scatter in the soup. <laughs> All right, this soup is ready. I'll turn off my lights. Serve and enjoy with any swallow of your choice. For me, I'll be enjoying this with Eba. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that for me and turn on your bell notification so that you'll be the first to get my video anytime I upload it. Please give this video a massive thumbs up. I will see you all in my next one. Bye!